Hey fellas, Sean Slow going to do another box opening. Zendika Rising. Collector's pack. I know it's been an exciting day. I don't think anyone's awake in the US right now. It's three o'clock in the morning in uh, New York. Uh, I'm not sure what it is on the West Coast. But anyway, look, the collector's boosters have just sort of driven all the prices of foils to the ground. I opened one pack the other day and I counted the number of foils that are in there, just set foils. Used to get, what, three or four of this, uh, maybe five to six per box. But I counted almost a hundred over foils. You know, most of them are destined for the bulk. Uh, bulk box except for these ones maybe I mean yeah so the value is really all in the uh, the foil full art um, showcase cards which I've taken out already but even these ones are not worth that much the non foils but well there are also two toppers in one of these boxes so I'm gonna open up another collector's booster box my second one I think I've got one more to come but wizards have delayed shipment so I, I need to wait for another week before my LGS can supply them to me so oh well that's what it is COVID and all hope everyone's keeping safe during um, these weird trying times also they released these two really sick uh, commander decks driving the price point price point down so I think I got them for about less than 30 bucks US for the two of them uh, with tax and uh, I mean just pick up and play sleeve them up Casual commander, perfect. Too easy. Anyway, all right. Oh, this one's a bit tough. Let's go. As usual, there are two non-foil toppers, so I've got four in total. Now, Windsor's are the price of these. You know, they, they go for about 30, 30 US dollars uh, sealed on eBay, thereabouts. Prices have really crashed because Wizards are including one in every set uh, booster box. You get one in. Um, a draft booster box and two in these collector booster boxes. So here we go. Values boom or bust. You could get you know one of the fast lands that's worth uh, eight to ten bucks, or you could get a seventy dollars scalding town. So I'll save them for another day. But here we go. The namesake card on this is Omnath, and uh, that's probably one of the most pricey ones to get in the uh, the set. So I'm gonna start cracking them. Of course, the big money here are the. Uh, expedition foils and they're an average of one every six packs although i saw a guy called michael he cracked five in one box that's really awesome so that's something like three percent three point six percent chance of getting all um a five in a box i saw a guy in my lgs crack three and i got two one was an ancient tomb the other one was the green red fast land so not great anyway i'm just zip through some of these chef commons and then you get to the um foil full art and then here's the first showcase first showcase slot that's a rolling voltex non-foil got your rare slot which is swarm shambler just set foil rare and now you have a showcase non-foil non-foil and that's the rare could be foil non-foil another one of these i like that we're getting about four of these every box i got four i've seen four to five they're really playable and um yeah, nice to have. I mean, they're not fetchable, but hey, that's cool. So one of these, and um, foil showcase slot. Ooh, expedition, grove, not the best, but there we go, can't complain. Grove the burn willows, beautiful. Expedition, not a bad start. Let's, uh, it's not quite the Scalding Tarn or Verdant Catacombs or Cavern of Souls, but hey, you know what? It's an expedition foil, I'll take it. Let's hope I get a couple more in this box. Hey Larry, thanks for joining. Now this negate foil is really pretty. Anyway, keep on going. Uncommon slot. How do I set up my piles? I'll just dump them here. Full art. Relic robber, that's not a foil. Squad commander, the previous box had one as well. Not really, it's a good card, but not worth really much. Baloth. Another McKinley Ox, I've been getting a zillion of these ones. Uh, ooh, this is nice, better in foil though. Murag, that's a mythic. Um, pretty powerful effect, I think pretty good. In, in uh, Commander, Brush Fella, your elemental. Uh, let's see, Felida Retreat is the, um, I think, showcase foil rare. This is a really powerful card, limited. Creates tokens, get out of, out of hand really quickly. So no showcase there. 
keep on going. Thanks, Larry. Good luck to me. Um, the value of the cards for the set isn't really high. I think the, the biggest card is Omnos and, and the showcase foil is about 40, 45 bucks. So the value is really uh, in the um, expeditions. The rest of them, eh, pretty average. Relic X. Nice mountain. Yeah, Larry, I think the collector's boosters, the, most of the, the stores get, had their supply halved and the rest are coming in sort of 10 days or so. That's what I was told, up to two weeks. Um, I got these from two separate stores just to spread the love around, the LGS. Now, this is a really good card, worth a fair bit, especially in the, the foil uh, showcase, Shadow Skull Smashing, one of those modal cards where, you know, it's a shock land. I'm oh, sorry, it's a bolt land, and the other side's got sort of dual purpose. Got a Dreadworm, one of these cute Jaboas. Ooh, Jace, I picked pulled one yesterday, but it's non-foil. Uh, three mana Jace that makes a copy of himself if you kick it. A foil canyon, Jaboa. Ooh, foil, a second Nighthawk scavenger. It's got this sort of Tamagoyf effect. Quite good, I got beat down by this in limited. It grows really large, really quick, especially in a mill deck. So I think that's my first foil um, showcase. Not not really good at the moment. So most of them are non-foils. Yeah, well, keep going. Only three packs in. All right, keep going. So Larry, I'm not sure when you'll get your, your boxes. I hope soon. Foil, Angel Destiny, another one, Mythic. This is my second one I pulled. Set foil, Null Priest. Um, Spike, Skycat, Pickaxe. Another dual modal land. Um, yeah, Tiger. <laughs> Ooh, foil Zagra. This guy is a beast in um, uh, Limited as well. If you get party, you can cast him for, I don't know, three mana if you've got a couple different people in your party. And it's a 4-4 Flying Haste Death, death Touch. Gives all your creatures Death Touch. Uh, and I think Death Touch to Planeswalkers as well. If you do damage to Planeswalkers. Really strong card. In Limited, Flying is really good. Lots of evasion. A lot of creatures. Unless you have removal, it's really hard to, to deal with Flyers. Another one. Second one I've got. Looks like there's some duplication in this box across the two um, stores I bought them from. Here's Gob Weakened Goblin Guide. It's got some benefits when you bounce the land and you can trigger landfall again, but obviously not a turn one play. Skycat, Brushfire Elemental, another one of these lands, my third one, Foil Canopy Bailoff. Oof, another Foil Sky Skyclave Relic. This is the second one. It's great in Commander. I think my boxes are pretty similar. So this will t sort of take the place of Dark Steel Ingot. Uh, in most decks, same casting cost, but with the kicker, it's indestructible. If you kick it, you make two tap copies. So for six mana, you make three mana rocks. It's pretty, pretty rampy there. Um, sort of gets around the, the steel effect. Someone, someone steals one of your mana rocks, at least you've got two more, especially if you've uh, kicked it. Uh, I'm hoping, I really like this card. It's an instant speed, sort of pyroclasm type effect. If you kick it, it uh, for three mana, it deals two to, to every creature. Really strong card. Mall Cyclaves, crazy and limited. Again, I got one yesterday, so I'm pretty sure that the collation for these two, and I had one of these yesterday, pretty dupl duplicated across the board, which is kind of sad because the box was okay, but not great. I had one of these as well, Phylas. Um, mm. Foil Nectar Pot. Ooh, oh no, Sea Chrome Coast Foil. This is my second expedition. It's not a fetch. It's a fast land. Come on, thanks Larry for the love. I'm hoping I get a foil tan. The second one, Sea Chrome Coast. I'm happy with any foil fetch at this point in time. But that's, I've sort of hit my quota. I got one of these as well, Maddening Cacophony. Great for mill. If you kick it, each opponent mills half the library, round it up. Glass pool mimic, really strong card. Three mana copies one of your to one of your um, creatures. It's modal as well. Rune crab again, really strong in mill, um, in limited. Geopede, 
Valakut exploration. And this guy gets out of control in limited as well. Turn two, it keeps growing and growing and growing. It's flying as well. Gains flying when you trigger landfall. Ooh, one of these nice ones. Um, foil. Um, so sort of flip lands. I've got five more packs coming, so we'll see. Let's go. Hopefully one more expedition. <sighs> Crawling Baron, another one. I got one the other day. Inscription of Insight. These are really quite powerful and limited as well. When you kick them. Spitfire Lagak. Kindy Ox. Skyclave, Skyclave Shade. I had one the other day as well. Hellhound. Squad Commander from the other day. I got one as well. Oh dear. So it's not looking promising. The store that I went to let me pick my own box. I picked this one. So I guess I have myself to blame <laughs> for the Street Chrome Coast and Grove, the Burn Willows. So big boomer bust type box. And I think this one's a bust. Ondo Inversion. Oh my god. This was the exact same foil rare uh, dual set foil uh, that I, I picked up the other day as well. Another one of these. Spit oh, here we go. Three, okay, that made, made me feel a little bit better. Ancient Tomb, this is my second one. That's uh, going for $100, I think. So not too bad. I'm betting above the average here now. So makes me feel a little bit better about the Grove and the Seachrome Coast. Can we go for one more of the last three packs? Forest. Had one of these guys the other day as well. It's also a buy box. I had one of these the other day as well, a set foil. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. One more. Fledgling. Second retreat. Foil Felida Crab. Full out inscription. Now, this might be worth a little something. So it goes, plays well with Hedron Crab. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Tan, 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 let's go. I'd be happy with the Verdant Catacombs as well. What time is it over there for you guys? Full Art, Nighthawk Scavenger, which I also pulled one the other day. Set Foil, Inscription, Prowling Felida, Lagak, another one of these dual lands. I think I've got the fourth one now, Sky Cat. Foil Angel of Destiny, and that's um, not quite Omnath. It's not quite a, uh, an expedition, but you know what? Don't worry. Midnight. All right, reasonable. You guys must be West Coast, Aaron. Lots of excitement today, huh? This is a really good limited card. Wow, Larry is staying up really late. Uh, okay, let's go. Last pack. Second Skyclave Relic, non-foil. I really want one of the Lithoform engines. I pulled one of these the other day as well. Skyclave Squid, Pickaxe. Ooh, and a Hiri. I didn't, I didn't get one of these the other day. Non-foil though. Prowling Felida. Confounding Conundrum. That's it. That's the last one. And boom. Yeah, Aaron, I like using scissors. I don't know. I just can't. Bear it when the pack just goes everywhere. And these are useful if you want to do a little sort of cube draft and you put them back in and they're quite useful and you give people the pack experience when you do a cube draft, put them in and people feel like they're getting cards out of a, a pack. So these are the foils, Conundrum, good in EDH, Angel, Destiny, Mythic, Inscription, Squad Commander, one of these jewels, really pretty relic, Zagras, Nightnock Scavenger. Wow, Larry, third shift, Jesus, okay. Hope you get some rest at some point. And uh, yeah, here we go. I think the box sort of broke even. I'm not sure. This is probably worth 30 bucks. 30 bucks, 30 bucks, $100. It's not too bad. And uh, just to recap some of the uh, full art non foils. Look, one, two, three, Three, four, Mythic Jace, five. That's crazy. These are nice. Five of these um, jewels. 
yeah, box is about close to even. Price is a little bit cheaper here in Singapore. I think I paid about 200 US per box, thereabouts, uh, including tax. So it's not too bad. All right, that's it. I think I'm going to end this one and I'm going to start another video so I can post it on my YouTube channel as well. I'm going to open these four bad boys. And uh, along with one more Chandra Spellbook. All right. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Aaron. I know it's late for you guys. Appreciate you joining me here. Not too bad. Three expeditions. All right. Slow out.